Hey y'all, we're back in the kitchen with some quarantine cooking videos. And um, I just want to apologize to y'all right off the bat. Haven't been in here in the kitchen in, for three minutes and I'm already a mess, getting spots all over me. So I'm clean, I just look dirty. <laughs> that boob wasn't so fat, this wouldn't have happened. But anyway, <laughs> it'll dry, right? <laughs> Michael's in here in the kitchen with me, y'all, and he's just staring at me like I got three heads. You know what? He's actually thinks he's standing over me and gonna give me some jaw because I'm fixing to share with y'all his pickle shrimp. I'd never heard of pickle shrimp, but he showed me the recipe and it was so plain. He put some onion and vinegar and shrimp in a jar and poured, you know, it was just nothing. So I said, well, I, I love that idea, but I think I can make it a little prettier. So <laughs> he said, I don't need more pretty. I just need more shrimp. <laughs> so I'm gonna use, don't be looking at me like that, Michael Grover. <laughs> you took a perfect recipe and ruined it. No, I, listen, this one is very, very close to your recipe. Well, the other one was not because you had avocados and bell peppers and I didn't have, bananas I, and oops, carrots. Look what just fell in there. Some little red bell peppers. See, now that's going to make it so pretty. Let them know that that is not part of the recipe when they get the recipe, so that's an add-on. Yes, listen. The reason I love pickle shrimp so much, making it because you can do anything you want to with it. Uh, I made some one time in a big mason jar and I put hard boiled eggs in it because you know, pickled eggs. Oh, it was the most beautiful jar. I hated to open it. What? It looked terrible, you're, you're ruining the recipe. <laughs> Bitter Bob over here, Bitter Bob. Uh-huh. Uh, bad attitude. All right, so I've got some uh, fresh garlic that's peeled. I'm just gonna bust it up so that those flavors, I'm afraid if I put it in there whole, it won't do the trick. What are you mumbling? I said garlic is a good idea. I go along with that. <laughs> oh, good. Paul, I have to tell you something funny. We did the chicken and dumpling recipe. It went online, I think, uh -huh. Sunday. Uh-huh. And... The commentary that Michael was giving about how he makes better yes. um, dumplings, we actually got some re some reviews back saying that they think he should cook his and you should cook yours <laughs> as a cook-off. <laughs> and who's going to be the judge? I don't know. We'd have to find somebody nonpartisan. That would be very hard. I was going to say. I'll do it, but she's already changed her recipe because she knew that I was going to well, keep on track. I make things. That may come. That may be coming down the road is a good old cook-off between you and Mike. Okay. I just make things so different every time, Teresa. You know, I, I go by recipes when I'm doing these little videos. Uh, well, but when I'm just cook cooking, unless it's a pastry, you know, I just don't, I just do. I just do what I want to do. Okay, tell, tell them what you add in. You're, you're, oh, okay. you're stuffing it, <laughs> shuffling it. Okay, okay. I added some whole peppercorns, salt and pepper. I've got bay leaves. I've got fresh garlic, onions, some diced up bell pepper just to make it pretty, and shrimp. And then, you want more shrimp, don't you, Mikey? Put more pepper in it too. You, you, you forget about it. No, I, I put the whole peppers in it. Every layer. Put pepper. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Is that enough? Well, leave the top off. Leave the top off? Yeah, you're going to need more. <laughs> Michael likes his stuff, y'all, where he, he, it hurts him. I could hurt him without going through all this stuff. <laughs> Put the knife down. <laughs> all 
Well, I'm glad you like the idea of the, whoa, get back over here. I'm glad you like the idea of the garlic. Cause I think that's gonna really enhance the flavor. Pepper. Okay, I'm gonna put some more. Oh, you talking about this kind of pepper? Yeah. Ground. Okay, tell me when. Keep going. Nothing. Okay. I hope that we're gonna be able to have some of these um, pickle shrimp too. All right, I'm gonna pack it, Michael, to get as many shrimp in there as I can. Looks like we have enough extras that he can make his own. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, now I'm gonna pour lemon juice. Uh. <laughs> Hush up. A little more peppers. Put some milk in. Milk? Yeah, why not? How about ice cream? Why not? I'll just put a, a scoop of Moose Tracks ice cream up there. How about a banana? How's that? Banana, yeah. All right, now I'm going to cover this with uh, apple cider vinegar, Michael. What kind of vinegar do you use? I'm not telling you. <laughs> he is a butt, y'all. Uh-oh, that's not enough. So I'm going to have to go back to the whale. It's right there, Paula. On the right hand side, uh -huh. in that, in the back. Yes, this way. Oh, 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 it's in the big cart. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So you'll want to just make sure that, that everything is covered. And that's it. Now let's talk about Let's talk about how long you let them sit before we eat. Um, oh gosh, this sit in a very good jar. This is, this won't seal up. Doesn't have a seal. Mm -mm. Oh no, it doesn't have a seal. <laughs> so we can't be turning this one upside down. Paula, question, because I yes. actually used shrimp that were already cooked. When you're cooking your shrimp, what, is there like, is there a, Art to it. I mean, like, I've always me, been, been told when they float to the top. Is that? Oh, no. I, I, I stand over my shrimp when I'm cooking them, and I prefer, to me, the shrimp is better if you boil them in the jacket and then peel them because their little coat that they're wearing, it just keeps some moisture in them, and you don't want to boil them more than three minutes tops. Uh, is there a way you to just, tell that they're done? Yes. By looking at them and making sure the opaque is all gone from that shrimp. Now, where did these shrimp, where'd you get these shrimp? Mr. Russo. Mm. They're good. Mr. Turner. They're good. Russo's is uh, an old seafood house owned by the Russo family here in Savannah. And they're wonderful people. And they have great, great seafood. So, Teresa is gracious enough to do all the prep for me because I'm prepping this while she's prepping the food. <laughs> so, she goes and buys the groceries and everything. So, I don't always know where she gets it. But look, look at that beautiful jar of pickled shrimp. Okay, so I started to say a while ago, some people have a different opinion as to when you can eat them, how long they have to sit. Some people say after four days, they get so tough, they get like an eraser. Uh, but Michael told me the longer they sit, the better they get. So how long, what do you say, Mikey? I say let them sit two weeks, but I also put them in a jar that you can turn upside down yeah. in the refrigerator. Yeah. Not that thing you go down. 
Well, I know it. I didn't know this didn't have, have a seal. I have a lot of pepper and it goes back and forth. And yes. Get some pepper. And I, I've, I've always, I always have done that too in the past. And I tried to do it here, but you saw I couldn't do that. Cause it ain't got a seal. I set it on the top in the refrigerator and then turn it mm -hmm, over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that my pepper infuses. That is what Betty Crotcher had to say about that. So the number one tip that I failed on is we should have used a sealed jar. Yes, you have to use a sealed jar. And there's probably a seal somewhere in there that belongs in this jar. But oh, these are so beautiful, these kind of jars. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. It's good. And listen, it's not fattening. And with this COVID-19, I thought it meant you're supposed to gain 19 pounds. And that's what I'm done. <laughs> Loving best tissues, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. At the end of the show, I told y'all love and best dishes. Bye-bye. Well, he came over here and got my shrimp and came over here to make his own. This is the way it was supposed to be made. Um, <laughs> it looks like you're using the same ingredients I had. I do, but mine is so simple. It's shrimp, onions, shrimp, onions, and a little bit of garlic. I did um, concede and let Paula <laughs> talk me into a little bit of garlic. In, in a few days, I'll let you know who won that one. But, oh, but we're gonna have a cook off with the chicken and dumplings. Oh yeah, well get ready. Oh, you get ready, Buster. And I do take the tails off, too. No, Paul, you have to have a handle. Paul and I have had this argument since day oh one. Oh, my God. How are you going to pick them out of the jar if you ain't got that handle? I'll show you. It's a, a, we got forks. You have to get a, get fork. a fork. No, you, you don't. Look okay, at forks there. You don't forks have there. to need a fork. So Paul, Everybody has a fork. Uh, so, Michael, one of the things you were saying was pepper. When do you put your pepper in? Because I haven't seen any pepper. I saw, oh, yeah. I saw his pepper. Yeah. Put a good little bit of pepper. I'm so, I'm see, I put pepper in each layer. Okay. So when you turn it upside down, we'll taste y'all and let my, you know. My jar, will you be able to turn it upside Tell down? Goodbye. Bye, y'all. Stay tuned and take your tails off your shrimp. No. Hey, y'all. It's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.